This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 168 for Tuesday, October 13th, 2015. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. Dead air. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still stuck on Lance wanting to bathe in blue lightning. So, <laughs> Join the chat, people. There's all sorts of crazy stuff going on already. Um. So here we are. We're back from uh, back from Denver, Colorado, in the Colorado Pen Show. Phenomenal, um, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Yeah, last um, last long trip for us for the year, which is nice. Oh, so excited! We have two more shows, and both are about five hundred miles each way, um, which for us is a short show. So yep. we're excited. So um, let's uh, first just uh, give kudos to. Uh, Ed Cabezi and staff. Easy breezy, um, Ed Cabezi. Uh, phenomenal job. Uh, everything they did was really great, really great. For people who run pen shows or are thinking about running pen shows, this is the way a show should be run. Ed and the staff run it like they've been doing this. Uh, they, they run it like Terry Mayhorter or Burt. Everything you could possibly want, whether you are a vendor or an attendee, is taken care of. Um, food for the vendors is always huge because we always, um, and not just us, but all of the vendors, you know, you can't get away from your table. Uh, you don't know where to go. You may not have anybody with a car. Uh, so to have lunch delivered to you is just killer. Uh, the staff, everybody in staff shirts, so you know who to ask if you need anything but you never needed to ask because they were constantly checking on you do you need a bio break can i get you some water do you need some coffee um you know you doing okay do, do you need to just walk away you know whatever they were constantly coming by and asking if uh if we needed anything it was it was fantastic yeah they did a great job um uh we even at the end of the show um we got t-shirts and um we forgot we left them at the store today, so we were going to wear them tonight, but yeah. um, um, we'll do so, it again. Yeah, we'll we'll do it got, another night. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it another night. Um, we are members of the staff. Apparently, we're helping out next year. Um, um, no, yeah, but right. we uh, we got in. Um, we left early on uh, Thursday. We got in Friday. Good weather, good travel. Um, and uh, one of the best things is we're able to uh, set up early. Mm -hmm. um, got into the room, took a nap, um, which was huge. Got in, set up, and uh, after about three hours or so of set up, we, um, um, we had a little pizza party we sponsored, and uh, some pizzas from the, the from hotel the were, were pretty uh, exotic. Is that the word? <laughs> they, they were a little exotic, yeah. Um, there were some gluten-free options, which were you know more the thin crust. Those were yummy. Um, but it was, our thought was we want to support the show and when people are setting up, everybody needs to eat, but nobody ever gets to like sit and chat except maybe at breakfast. But then in the back of your head at breakfast, you're always thinking, oh, I should go work on setting up. I should go do this. I should go do this. So we thought a pizza party was a great way for everyone at the show to just get together and relax and chit chat. And it was great. We had a, a really good time. Yeah, nice, nice big tables, so uh, you could have lots of people sit at the table. It wasn't just, you know, you could sit with the same four people you always sit with. Um, we had an interesting uh, conversation with uh, Bob Nuren. Uh, come, on, come to find out, Bob's a, a big car guy, and uh, we chatted about cars. That was kind of fun. Um, and just, you know, anything and everything. Um, it, it was cool. So uh, we sat down, had some food, and then continue to set up and by the end of the night we were all set up yeah it was fantastic to be able to uh, walk downstairs Saturday morning the busy day and have it ready boom done yeah I mean and I, I did actually do um, I did a little buying on Friday afternoon um, which uh, which sort of led into Saturday afternoon um, which kind of almost got me into trouble. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Because um, when I went to go, uh, seller wanted cash instead of a check, and, and that's cool. 
Um, so I gave him cash on Saturday, and when I went to give him cash, they had another bag um, of Estabrooks uh, at the table that I, I just I couldn't resist. So um, I ended up walking away from the table. Oh my God! And almost walking home. This here, if you can see this, um, and two other folks uh, showed up at the table, and all told. We came home with this pile here of Estherbrooks. And I think if my count is correct, um, there are 94 Estherbrooks uh, in these four bags. Now that's what you told me, yes. So um, mostly J's, LJ's, SJ's. Uh, there is one very nice pastel, some dollar pens, uh, a couple of transitionals, uh, a couple of later pens. Um, but... Um, I just couldn't resist and uh, and they just kept coming to the table and um, there was I left I did leave one bag of 21 Estabrooks uh, at that table uh, for someone else to buy because uh, I was going to be walking home if I bought anything else. So, <laughs> yes you uh, were. And then of course to answer the obligatory questions uh, yes these will be for sale um, you got to give me you got to give me at least a week a uh, week and a half here um, we're unpacking and a lot of stuff, a lot of, a lot of cool stuff going on this week. Yes. Um, and uh, I just, I, I won't have time to, to look through them and, and get them ready for sale. Hope maybe by the end of the week, if I'm lucky, but uh, probably not more like mid next week. So yes, they will be for sale. Um, and I'll put them up on the website just like the last bunch. So. Well, the other thing is that after the next show, we've got three weeks off. So you'll have some time then. Yeah. So, um, Hopefully, I would like to get. Some, my goal is to get some done before we leave for Detroit. That would be really uh, my goal. That would be nice. Twenty-four pens means you get that new one that's sitting around waiting for you. I know, and I did not sell it, and it was weird because um, nobody wanted to pay four thousand dollars for the unique <laughs> <laughs> fantasy point. Um, I'm so, pretty sure that was the price, right? Was it four thousand for that one? So that's how it works. You just overcharge for it, so nobody buys it. Well, listen, if they're going to pay that much, then I'm I'm happy to, to let it go. Uh, I'm no, sure you are. no, no. Um, so, uh, for those who, who don't know, I'm uh, I'm working on getting all three of the Namiki Rod and Vanishing Points, uh, and the goal is I have two of them now, and so there's one left, but I have to restore and list uh, another 24, 24. Uh, Esther Brooks uh, on the site before I can um, claim that one as mine. Uh, and that's that's the incentive program here at Anderson Pens. Yes. Uh, restore and list pens, and you too can get um, all sorts of loveliness. So. Exactly. Um, should we show this picture here? You should. Now. You want to talk about this while I I, uh, I share this? I think we mentioned a couple weeks ago that um, Ed Capizzi of the Denver Show had contacted us, and um, Marie Hornback is a teacher at the Ridgeview Classical School and she teaches penmanship. And, you know, we've been giving away pens at the pen shows for years, but here was a brand new audience, 200 kids um, who had, most of them had never used fountain pens before. So we sent these two huge boxes to Ed, who took them over to the school and uh, delivered them to 200, um, was it fourth, fifth and sixth graders, I yes, believe. And um, I, I think we mentioned, and you can see behind me, uh, we received 200 thank you notes, all handwritten. They were phenomenal. They were amazing. And then one of them, um, and the, there were three contests that the kids could enter, a creative writing contest, a penmanship contest, and an art contest. And the image that Brian is showing you is one of the entries. Uh, and the rule was you had to use the fountain pen that we gave them. And so this was one of the entries, and it is the cutest thing ever. So, so for those who are listening to the audio version, i got to describe this. So there's this great picture of a, of a street. Uh, there's, a, there's a little median. There's trees in the median. There's, a, there's actually a Hummer <laughs> driving down the road um, past Anderson Pens, and it says Anderson Quality Pens. There's double doors, and it's a 50% off sale. There's 50% off pens. Um, there's like a big jumbo jet flying above, and then there's another, it's, it's hard to see, uh, but there's another plane that has a banner behind it that says Anderson Pens in it. 
Uh, and then in the background, uh, um, I'm assuming those are mountains or trees or something. I don't know what those are, but uh, there's a little sign for parking. But uh, yeah, it's great. Just That's adorable. Some, some clouds in the sky. It's absolutely adorable and and really well done. And uh, this kid is going to go far because uh, he already knows the um, the art of uh, schmoozing. But it's <laughs> it's just fantastic. Yeah, I love it. So it was really, uh, really cool to see that. And, and he um, didn't even win. He didn't win. I, I don't. He's a winner um, with us. <laughs> he's a winner with us. Absolutely. Um, yep. Just, just fine. Just, just I, I can. Awesome stuff. I, I mean, it would have been fun to meet him. That would have been that would have been really cool. Him or her, I don't know if it was. Uh, well, we we did get to meet one of the kids. Uh, he and his younger brother and his parents came and so it was great to talk to them and uh the younger brother wants a pen so we're sending him a pen um so we'll, we'll do a shout out to them later um but uh yeah it was it was really fun it was a great thing to be a part of and we're we're grateful that we can be involved yeah and, and, and we'll do it again oh yeah absolutely uh, we'll get everybody in denver writing fountain pens before you know it so <laughs> there you go um, so the show was real, uh, so it officially started on Saturday. Um, this year spread into one and a half uh, rooms, essentially. Um, second room had a couple of, a few tables, uh, Mike Masuyama, a couple other people, Ryan Cruzette. Um, and, uh, but next to us, so last year we had Ryan right next to us, and this year we had a little bit different configuration, uh, luxury brands which uh, of course is uh, Noodlers and Platinum are right next to us, right across right across the way. So uh, whenever there's a lull in the action, uh, I'm walking over there because they have, you know, John's got this really nice setup of, uh, of uh, Platinum. Uh, 3776s, Zumos, um, different Machia, all sorts of really, really gorgeous stuff. Uh, and then of course, all of the Noodlers pens, and then there was uh, a bunch of, uh, uh, tester bottles of ink. So that was really, and uh, Chris Scott, uh, both John and Carol are, are just great folks. Um, pretty down to earth. Um, yes, we love them. And it, of course, it, I think it was, it worked to their advantage because I just kept going over there and buying stuff. Um, <laughs> we, we ended up coming home with quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, I think, I think that's on the list to, to, to chat about in a little bit, maybe, mm -hmm. that uh, later so. on was. Yeah, so we did, did come home with some new platinum that's uh, hopefully going to be on the site this week, uh, and we ordered some new stuff that's really nice. Uh, yes. I'm, really, I'm really impressed. Um, and uh, I happen to have my 3776 Chartreuse Blue in my pocket all weekend. Um, of course, it writes great. Um, I think we talked about it a couple podcasts ago, but um, nice, nice pens and some, some cool, cool stuff coming out. So. Um, anything else you want to mention that or we want to move on to purchases? No, it was, it was great to see them. Um, it's always nice. Uh, we have stopped bringing um, Noodler's pens to shows because there are so many different ones. And some of them have been hard to, uh, to order lately. Um, Nathan's only one guy and he can only do so much. So we stopped bringing them. So it's been wonderful for them to have it. And, and essentially they became our back stock. Yep. Um, so that was great. They got to show off some things that many people don't get to see, and um, it, I, I think that it it worked up really. It worked out really well for yep. both of us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And speaking of purchases, uh, we each got a few things. You know, I regret um, I regret not buying what you got when I saw it to begin with. Um, my, you know, my my thing. Yeah, your thing there. Yeah, I because I, I saw it right away, and that's when I came around and I mm -hmm. asked you about. You're like, mm, you know, and then to find out what the <laughs> price was, we ended up buying it anyway. So anyway, so uh, enough of the amb ambiguity. Uh, what do you have there? Oh, I have a little bit of heaven. And I, I'm sorry this week. Um, I'll just let's say it. Uh, uh, I didn't get a chance to do really much with the pictures this week. So two bottles. This is one bottle. And this is not just the box. This is a second full bottle. Eat your heart out bottle of Parker Penn and Sapphire. So there we go. And there was uh, there was what about three bottles of it there? Three or four bottles. 
not enough. Uh, I think, and then there were also a couple of bottles of Parker uh, Penman Ebony and. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the black. It's there was another one. Black. Yeah, there was there was another one too. What's what's the, the red called? Oh, the ruby. Not ruby, a big fan yeah. of the ruby. I like the emerald. I like the mocha. I love the sapphire. I, maybe it was mocha. I don't remember. Yeah, uh, I should have bought. But I think I think that person I bought my. You know, it's funny. I I get these alerts on my on my uh, phone every day. Um, for Facebook and what I did, what happened last year, this day, mm -hmm. and uh, um, last year is when I got that cool Mont Blanc bottle. Mm -hmm. It's a plastic yes. bottle, but it's it's weird. It's shaped like a in two inverted triangles, um, and I think that's the same person. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to go next year. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna hit that table up right away. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so that was cool. Yes, yeah, so you got a couple more. Uh, how many bottles of Penman does that mean you have now? Seventy three. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus I think some in the basement that we're not going to talk about. Some so. in the basement. <laughs> Between seven and ten. All right. Um, cool. So now I I picked up my first pen actually on Friday, not counting the, the Esterbrooks. Um, and I knew this one existed, and I kind of thought about it. It just kind of hit me. <clears throat> and uh, our good friend uh, Tim Pearson uh, in Denver is right across from us. So he's mm -hmm. directly in front of us, which is nice because Tim's got like, how many pens do you think Tim's got? A oh my pens? God. I mean, he's just there he's everywhere. Easy. There's no way to look at them all in any timely manner. So it's great because if there's a lull in the action, I can just skip Sip over there. I can, I can pull out a tray cause he has trays. You got to pull them out. Uh, he's got some laid down, some in cases, but a lot of trays and, uh, I can, you know, keep an eye on the table and I can pull stuff out. Yep. Uh, but I knew he had this pen and, <laughs> Shop and work at the same time. I can shop at the same time. It's great, and, and and Tim's just fun to talk to. He's just a he's a funny guy. Um, and I knew we had this pen. I don't remember where I saw it first. Uh, maybe DC, I think. Uh, and I mentioned it to him, and then all of a sudden he comes over and he, he gives it to me. He goes, "Here you go." Um, and then he, he, you know, he says, "Well, maybe we'll do a little trade. I need some paper or whatever, and we'll and we'll we'll come up to a deal." So. He hands this to me, and there's a story that goes along with this. We'll describe the pen first, and we'll tell the story. So, um, and sorry, Wayne, um, no picture, but this is a black hard rubber. Uh, it's ebonite with a rushi lacquer, and it is a Japanese pen, and it's very torpedo shaped, uh, nickel plated trim on the cap and the cap band. Sorry, I'm moving it around there, uh, and you unscrew it. And this one does have a 14 karat nib, and I do believe that the nib is perhaps a replacement. I don't believe it's original. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's not original. But uh, like many old, uh, older Japanese pens, this is an eyedropper with an ink shut off. So that's cool. Um, you can pull this out now. Some of the Japanese pens you actually could fill in this manner. Uh, I don't know if you can in this one. Now Tim said he re replaced the, the the seal on this, so this actually could be used. Um, just unscrew the section, get your eyedropper, and um, uh, fill it up, and you're good to go. So the interesting story of that's behind this that makes this interesting. Creepy. Um, this pen. So Tim got this pen from a World War II veteran, and uh, that veteran served um, in the Pacific Islands, and he stated that he got this pen because he removed it from the body of a deceased soldier. Um, and then this thing is, is well, well worn. It's very heavily worn. Um, and one has to wonder what, what did that soldier write with this pen? What were the last, the last characters that he wrote with this pen? Um, very, um, it's very interesting, interesting pen. So, discuss. <laughs> That's it? Just discuss? Discuss. I don't know. I'm, I'm done talking. Okay. I think just the story, it's sad. It's just it sad. It is sad. It is sad. It's very sad. Um, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, it's uh, we, we were discussing this at work today. Uh, we were talking with Dave and, and Chris, and 
and uh, you know it's it's unfortunately it was reality back back then and I'm, I'm sure it happens now um, you know call it looting call it whatever you want but um, it was picked off of, of a soldier and, he, and the, the the veteran took it home and I, he must have he probably kept it for a long time because I don't think Tim had this pen very long no. so I I think it's a, a little you know, looting a corpse is always a little creepy, but yes. I, yes. it certainly was commonplace. And I think that it's um, interesting that the man who um, ended up with the pen um, wrote it down or, or told Tim the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could so. have been anything. So, and I guess I forgot to mention, uh, this is, uh, it is fully marked uh, clip and barrel. It is uh, made by the San Isu uh, company and on the clip uh, they and it was a fairly large company during its time um, on the clip it's marked SSS which stands for Sun star and C um, and uh, it's gonna go in a, a special place with the rest of my the, the other two of my early Japanese pens uh, my uh, budding Japanese collection so um, so anyway, there was that, and uh, and so I was happy with that. And and I, again, after having bought ninety four Esther books, I knew Lisa would kill me if I bought another pen. <laughs> and so on Sunday, Joel Hamilton, who's maybe what three tables, four tables off, um, you yeah. know. But that's a great thing about the show is the room's not that big. It, it pretty much, you know, at times, it, 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 like any show, there's there's lulls. And uh, you can get up and walk around and still see your table from halfway across the room, if not all the way. Right. Um, and uh, and Joel comes over and he's looking at the sailors because we had a nice sailor spread and we had all the Japanese put all the Japanese pens right in one nice yard. So it was it was just heaven. And uh, Joel's looking at a pro gear and he's like, a transparent pro gear. He's like, hmm, that's interesting. He goes, hang on, I'll be right back. And he walks it's over. Never good. That's never good, you know, and, and and I'm really being good because I later found Tim Pearson had two other pens that we'll talk about next in, in, in next month, uh, two other pens that I wanted, and I decided, you know what, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, and I told Tim, I said, listen, if you still have these two pens at the end of the show, because I know he's not going to Detroit, he's going to Columbus, I said, I will buy them in Columbus, so if you don't sell them, we'll put, put them next to each other so I don't have to dig for them next time. Um, and so I'm thinking, this is good. I got one. I got one really cool pen with a cool story, um, and I'm good with that. So uh, Joel comes back to the table and he's carrying this pen here, and it's a transparent. Uh, it's a demonstrator, sailor, 1911 large. It's very cool. With gold trim. Now in the current U.S. catalog. Um, They don't make this pen. This pen is not available in the U.S. I don't know if it's available in Japan. Um, they make a 1911 standard mm -hmm. in transparent with gold trim, but not a large. Right. Uh, and the price was more than fair. And Lisa happened to look over as Joel was presenting it to me, and your words were, "Just at that price, just buy it." <laughs> yeah. So I walk over, give Lisa a big kiss, and and the cool <laughs> thing is this pen. So. It's, it's large size, 21 karat nib, uh, zoom nib on it. Uh, and if you don't know what a zoom nib is, it's a very interesting nib. Uh, it's a Japanese nib that is very broad at a normal writing angle, but the higher angle you write to the paper, the thinner it gets. So you can have line variation based on the angle you write with. Um, I, I like zoom nibs because they're just super broad. Um, they're good for crossing stuff off a list and stuff, and using you could use it as a highlighter. But it's a super fun pen. Um, I just I'm I'm happy as a clam to have it. So um, that was my I, that was my other only other real pen purchase. Well, I had one other pen purchase, but um, I knew that uh, you know we we've occasionally talked about uh, one of the the things that's kind of a ritual is um, if there is an outlet mall that's open on the way home from a show. We stop. Uh, it's a good excuse to get out, stretch your legs, all that. And uh, I love to go into the Coach outlet store and look around. I haven't bought anything in probably a year and a half, but I just like to go and look. Uh, most of it is, is not at all my style, so we, we laugh about it and all. But 
because Brian got a pen, I got a new purse, and that was exciting. Um, but at the show, you may recall that a couple shows ago, Brian received, uh, Brian picked up a uh, Franklin Kristoff 13 pen envelope. I just happen to have it right here. Look at that. I got my own. So. And she got a exciting. different color, so we don't mix it I up. I did. And what it's do you got not, it? let me, let it's not quite full. What do you got in there? I got to work on that. You, you got to work on that, <laughs> she says. I see, I see, uh, let's see, a, a pilot, pilot Metal Falcon, pilot. Vanishing Point, a Sailor Starburst Galaxy. Sailor. Uh, Sailor 1911 Standard Maroon. How am I doing so far? No, that's uh, my Platinum. Oh, it's your Platinum 3776. Okay. And you've got the Visconti, my Franklin Kristoff. There's okay. a Delta Dolce Vita in there. Oh, the Slim, the Slim, Lamy yeah. Slim. That's, a, that's a cool pen. There's a Retro. There's a... Um, Lammy All Star, the copper and orange, and then what an old style vanishing point. I can tell just by the by the yes. tip there. So I gotta get that out. That was coming home with me. So, yep. so yeah, cool. Yeah, it's, it's a cool case. She's getting tired of me walking around. Well, I needed something a little bigger, and it fits in my briefcase. So there we go. They had them, made me a a good deal, and it was beautiful. So, so cool. Um, we're going to skip the pen paper yep. note this week. I think we're going to move on to, there's a couple of, we're going to hit a couple high points of what's on the web. Uh, uh, since we were in Denver, uh, we did manage to pick up a couple of Noodlers, Conrad's and Ahab's. Well, acrylics and a couple of Ebonites, Crux, not the yeah. regular Conrad's. Not the regular Conrad's, yeah. Yeah. So. And, and then, uh, definitely some Ahab's, not a ton. Um, yeah. but we did receive um, notice that Noodler's just restocked on ink. So we are getting <laughs> 97 and a half pounds of... I'm sorry, um, what? <laughs> 97 and a half pounds of Noodler's ink coming. This is, this is not staged, folks. She, just, I, I never, she never tells me this. We um, needed ink. Okay. So, yeah. Yep. So those are coming. Um, the Retro 51 Nightwalkers finally got here. Otherwise yes. known as the zombie pen. Zombie pen. It's kind of cool. Glows in the dark. Um, it's kind of neat. I like it. Um, so that's limited edition. We got less than a third of what we actually wanted. So yeah, that's, pretty... uh, that's if that's of interest, if you're a retro collector, um, we put it up um, over the weekend. So uh, there's a couple left. Um, and uh, like we mentioned, alluded to before, there's a shakeup in platinum coming. Uh, we ordered some really cool uh, 3776 uh, pens other and other stuff. Uh, some Machier, um, Ebonite 3776, really neat pen. Um, and then we're also bringing in, because I understand not everybody wants to wants to pay $700 for a Machier. I mean, they're beautiful to look at, but um, sometimes you need something that's usable that's also beautiful. Uh, we are coming in, we're going to be getting some really cool um, silk, uh, some screen Machier, uh, 14 karat nibs and a really... Uh, Interesting price point. Um, I think they're going to be the popular, beautiful pens. Yes. Um, so uh, we're trying to get you. trying to get the platinum stuff sorted out. But it's just been so busy the last month and a half. Um, uh, but more stuff is coming, so it's going to be going to be fun to see that. So keep keep in mind. If there's anything platinum you want, let us know because we can we can get it all. Yes. Uh, big news today. Um, lots of stuff came in. The uh, Oma Sojiva cocktail came in. We've got uh, Bloody Mary and Blue Angel still uh, on the site. A couple of those. Um, and that's just like the Ojiva Alba. Yes. Um, it's that cotton, cotton resin, which is really a cool color. The blue is neat. I actually, you know, I can tell you the truth. I, I've been so busy. Um, I wasn't even in the office office most of the day today. Uh, I didn't even get it. You need to look at it. But I know the blue is blue is incredible, yeah. isn't it? Well, you'll see them tomorrow when you take pictures. Yes, I'll be taking pictures tomorrow. So uh, yes. those are in, and uh, that's that's an affordable uh, omos. It really is. And uh, eighteen karat nibs, I think, is extra fine, fine, medium, broad, um, fourteen karat, extra fine, and fine, flexible or flexible um, nibs on those. Um, so that's cool. Uh, we got some ink this week. Yes, we uh, received in uh, more huge boxes. Um, Ackerman has been restocked along with, uh, we received a package of Diatramentus, including a new to us document ink. I've been waiting for this for um, 
<laughs> since June. Uh, the document fog gray, so we finally have that. Um, and, and of course, with with the Ackerman Inc., you got to email us, and uh, we'll tell you what's available, and we'll help you. Yes. We'll help you. We'll help you purchase it that way. Uh, we will have this week, uh, probably later this week. I'm not sure that I'll be able to get it all up tomorrow, but uh, a brand new paper. I don't and think anybody, not many people have this. I can think Are of we one company. About, we talking about the same thing? Uh, the brand new paper and the brand new ink that we came home with. Oh, I'm talking about the other paper. Well, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. All right. So we managed to score some cool new paper and some cool new ink, and that will be up on the site. And this is available elsewhere, um, one other place, and it's very cool, very highly rated on the boards. So we are excited that uh, we will be able to have some. And um, we also are receiving in either late this week or early next week another new um, brand of pen. It's one size, one notebook. Paper. Uh, okay. Paper, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, really interesting dot grid pattern. It's different. I like it. I really like it a lot, yeah. it's, um, which says a lot because I don't, to me, papers. I mean, paper is not paper, but um, anyway, um, it's cool. Yes. I don't know of anyone else uh, who carries pens, who carries this uh, one company. One person. I know one yeah. person. No. Carries it. So. so we're excited to be able to have this come in. Uh, we have a sample pad that we have all been playing with, and it's really great stuff. Uh, why don't you skip ahead to the next one, and then I'll do my little announcement there at the end. Okay. Uh, we also received in sometime last week, right before we left, um, some of you may recognize this. Maybe not. Let me open it. Does this help? <laughs> the, it's cute. It's really yeah, cute. It is cute. The little 15 mil Oroshi Zuku bottles. Um, now, there's kind of a funny story behind this, and uh, I can't share it all yet. Uh, but let's just say that we've only just begun. So, and you got Yamabudo, yes. Tsukushi, and Konpeki. So uh, these that's are that little box. Looks kind of awesome. like a bond type case. Awesome little bottles, 15 mil bottles, square. Great for mixing, you know. Yes. When you're done with the ink, of course. Well, uh, well packed. They sit in a um, kind of a stiff foam yeah. little inside, and then you've got. It would be great for traveling. You know, I mean, if you what? when you when you when you get done with the, the mini inks, you could put your own inks in them, and you could use that for traveling because that stuff's not going anywhere. It's fit fit really yeah. nice in there. So yeah. Anyway, those are up. Um, that's cool. These are great. Um, and so I do have an announcement. I had some people questioning. Um, Franklin Christoph Model 19, our special uh, Model 19 with the black with the blue bands on the cap and the barrel. Um, yes, we've been out of stock for a while. Um, I can't say much more than uh, we will be getting them back in. Uh, please look for an announcement. It'll be on the blog. It may be as early as tomorrow. Um, there are going to be a special announcement about the Franklin Christoph 19. Um, so if you're interested in getting one, uh, what I recommend is, uh, and I know many of you have a back in stock notification on that, uh, but we will talk about it uh, a little more and maybe tomorrow. I think tomorrow might be a good day for it, don't you think? I think so. So uh, that's all I can say. So. Uh, we're going to do a contest giveaway real quick. I know we're running long. Yep. Um, this okay. week, uh, we are going to give away. Do you have it there? you gonna you got to speak so I can see you. I there do. You go. All right. Um, it is a pad of Tomoe River. Uh, this one is white. Uh, we also do have cream that you can purchase, but we are giving away the white. It's 50 sheets. And instead of the larger size, these have been cut down to five and a half by eight and a half. Not everybody wants to use a whole sheet mm -hmm. or has that much to say or uh, wants to pay for, you know, 100 sheets of the full size. So we've made these smaller sizes. Uh, no one else has them. And so the contest winner will receive this pad of 50 sheets of Tomoe River. And it's, uh, it's side bound. Yes, it's side bound because uh, because of the way that the paper is um, is made. You want it 
uh, this was actually the top. So you want it yeah. bound that way. Uh, and I don't believe they're on the site, but we'll get them up on the site hopefully this week. We can do that tomorrow. You do it tomorrow. Uh, they're cool. Uh, they're very popular in, uh, we, we debuted them in uh, Denver. They're very popular. So the contest uh, this week for the free Tomoe River pad um, is the question, uh, and the email address is giveaway at andersonpens.com. Uh, how many pens did Lisa get at the most recent Colorado Pen Show in Denver? Um, and if you li listen carefully, you heard that answer. Um, and we'll take the first correct answer to giveaway at AndersonPens.com. Cool. So I know uh, this one. I, I you can't get one. Oh man! <laughs> All right. Well, while you're waiting for emails, I'm going to do some shout outs. Um, number one, Ed Capizzi and his wife Leslie, um, who is my sister from another mother, uh, they did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Uh, again, this year, it was even better than last year, and um, I hope you guys got some sleep, but the show was fantastic. Attendees were excited, vendors were happy, um, well-organized, and it was nice to see Ed and Leslie walking around with a smile. You know, they aren't stressed and running around, and, and it, was, uh, it, was, it was great to see them um, maybe not completely enjoying themselves because it was work, but um, absolutely not looking stressed and anxious. And uh, the staff was fantastic. So big, huge hugs to all of you guys. It was rocking awesome. Yeah, it was great. Really great. Yeah. Really, really, really impressive for a second year show. I mean, completely yes, impressive. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it was really awesome to see uh, Carrie from Fountain Pen Day. Yes. I had no idea you were going to be there. That was awesome. I knew awesome. it was going to be there. I knew it. Um, I did. said something about it, so. Okay. But that was cool. Always awesome to see you. Um, big, big hugs. I know that they probably are not watching this live, but they'll hear it um, at some point. So big hugs to Will and Jeff. Awesome to see you guys again this year. And listen to me carefully, boys. Do not drive. Hire somebody. These poor men were in another car accident, and I, I worry now. So, <laughs> um, so you guys just be safe and be careful. Um, big hugs to Terry Lynn. We saw her last year, and she was there again this year, and she sent me the nicest, sweetest email. Just made my day. Yeah, yeah it was really uh, nice. Another shout-out. Most of you can relate to um, you run into somebody and they're out of context, right? That you, mm -hmm. you don't expect to see them there. And so I, I saw this girl at the Denver Pen Show and she's like, hey, you know, hey, like I, sh I know her. Where do I know her from? Like, there's something not right. Like I don't remember her here last year. And, and so anyway, it turns out. Um, after we chatted for just two seconds, um, she lives in Appleton. <laughs> she now goes to grad school in Denver. So she was just out of context. I'm used to seeing her at the store, not at a pen show. Um, so a big, big shout out to Allison. Um, knock it out of the park in grad school. And uh, big Shout out to uh, Stuart and Larkin and their parents. Stuart was, um, is one of the students at uh, Ridgeview Classical School, and it was uh, awesome to see him and his younger brother and their parents. Um, that was really great, um, and, and they are sincerely excited about using fountain pens, so that's why we do a big part of what we do is to get the younger generation involved, so that was cool. Yeah. And then lastly, a huge, huge shout out to my best friend, Michelle, who just wrote a book and it just got published. I just bought one. So big, big, big hugs to Michelle. So freaking cool. So we do have a winner. Cool. The winner of the Tomoe River pad is, and I'll send you an email. I'm sure we have your address. Um, is Hector. Oh, nice. So, uh, the correct answer, of course, it was a, it was kind of a trick question. It really wasn't a trick question. Lisa got zero fountain pens at the Colorado Pen Show in Denver. So, 
Very cool. Uh, Hector, let me know if you want me to mail it or just bring it to you next weekend. So there you go. Is that it? Um, I think that's it. Okay. Use your pens. Uh, use your pens. Write to us at 10 East <laughs> College Avenue, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. And really do write to us. We do save everything, and we're, we put them up on the wall. Uh, check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and all other social media as Anderson Pens. Uh, the blog is blog.andersonpens.net. Or com. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I haven't said that in a while. Blog.andersonpens.com. Either one will work. And the website, <laughs> ignore him, is andersonpens.com. <laughs> check out the social media for updates and new products from Edson Store. Thanks much for listening to our podcast. We will see you next week. Have a good night, everyone. Good night.